Welcome back to ETF.com Live, the video edition. My name is Dave Nodig, Managing Director here at ETF.com. Today's question was pretty simple. Somebody asked, are ETFs all just derivatives? And the way the question got asked made me think that they were implying something pretty negative about this, that somehow derivatives were terrible and scary. And like a lot of things, this is a definitional question that, that maybe is splitting some hairs. The definition of a derivative is anything that is derivatively priced. That is, that you know what it's worth based on the value of something else. With that simplest definition, every mutual fund, every ETF, every variable annuity contract, heck, even your own brokerage account is derivatively priced in the sense that you know the total value based on the value of all the things that it holds. If it's the S&P 500 ETF, you add up all the holdings and that tells you what it's worth. So from that perspective, sure, it's a derivative, but pretty much everything is a derivative that's not a single security. Most people mean the word derivative to refer to things that are really just contracts like an option or a futures contract or a swap or a forward. In all of those cases, you don't own anything related to the underlying specifically. What you own is a contract between two people who agree to have some sort of financial exchange based on how something else does. So for instance, a futures contract on the price of oil doesn't own oil, it owns a promise for somebody to give me oil at a certain price in the future, or I make a promise to deliver that oil at a certain price in the future. That's a true derivative because nobody in that contract owns the underlying oil. They just own either a right or an obligation. So no, ETFs are not all derivatives. It's worth pointing out, though, that ETFs and mutual funds can and do own derivatives. Even if you're not investing in something like an oil ETF, which owns nothing but derivatives, even your regular old bond fund probably has some small slug of derivatives related to maybe interest rate swaps or something like that, or maybe a currency hedge that helps uh, mitigate the performance of a stock in Europe. Those things are derivatives. Uh, they're all regulated. Most of them trade on exchanges. Uh, most of them are pretty well understood from a risk management perspective. So I don't think this is something most investors sh should get too concerned about. But as always, pays to know what you own. Thanks for listening. We'll see you next week.